Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome back to the podcast. This is Smartass, the ninth episode, uh, the number one podcast in the world. And uh, we're just going to keep saying that, um, even though provably untrue, but you know, it is, it, I mean, in everybody's minds and, uh, and hearts, it's the, uh, it's the number one podcast until, uh, until Meghan Markle and um, Prince, Prince Harry get their, uh, their podcast going. Those fucking, uh, those dweebs. We want to hear from uh, the old ginger boy, old ginger prince boy, and uh, the the chick from Deal or No Deal. Then, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I want to listen to on my way to work. Prince Harry telling me, "Actually, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't all that great. Uh, it wasn't all that great growing up in the palace. Um, see, in the palace, we lived with many pedophiles, and um, and see, the thing is that when everybody does everything for you." You don't get to learn to do it yourself, you see. So um, that's where that's where a lot of my struggles came from. So yeah, hey Harry, hey Harry, yeah, I I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to let you go. I uh, I gotta go to work. I uh, yeah, I shovel I shovel horse shit. Yeah, to uh, to pay the bill. So I appreciate your talk about uh, you know, um, your met your struggles and everything. It's it, I I found it very enlightening. But yeah, I gotta go shovel uh, horse shit to pay, to uh, pay my bills. So yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Thanks, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Uh, thanks for that, Prince of Sussex. Fucking killed it. Um, hey, uh, Canadians. Uh, have, hope everyone's having a great long weekend. May two four, the official weekend of changing your too much, your inappropriate, your uh, over the top drinking habits. Switching that from inside to outside. The official weekend of taking your alcoholism outdoors. That's what May 2-4 is. It's just, um, you know, it's like we've been inside drinking for, uh, for months. You know, freezing cold, just uh, pounding back beers and whiskey. And uh, it's been a good couple months, you know. Really rode out this COVID one. And uh, now we're, it's time to take our drinking outdoors. Time to get back to the old outdoors and get all boozed up. Um, so, yeah, I mean, uh, for all our American friends that are listening, um, May 2-4. It's a weekend, yeah, literally that people just get fucking hammered in. But, I mean, you guys have weekends like that, too, uh, every weekend. Uh, same with Canadians. Every weekend is just, you know, uh, they just get an extra day to do it once more because that's what, uh, that's what people need, you know, just another day to get boozed up and fucking uh, order Domino's at 1 a.m. And then fucking pass out before it gets there. And then they're just like, whoa, what the fuck? Uh, the Domino's guy fucking uh, never came. It's like, yeah, well, yeah, he showed up and stood at your door for uh, for 20 minutes knocking. And you were fucking face down in your own puke or something. So good stuff. Um, but yeah, it's uh, Victoria Day, I believe, uh, which is um, here in Canada. We've got a big hard on for the uh, for the royal family. Hey, Prince Harry, there you go. Hey, we 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 like your we like your grandmother, mate. We we like we liked her so much that uh, or your great grandma? I don't even know. Um, oh yeah, yeah, his great grandma or something. They, they killed his mom, right? Yeah. Um, uh, I'm a big uh, royal family historian, as you can see. Uh, but yeah, so his uh, Queen Victoria. So apparently it was the day she was born or something. So I guess since then or since however long, we we like to take the day off. You know, and celebrate, uh, celebrate Miss Victoria herself. She was a fucking, she was a dope queen. She was such a, she was a fucking, she was a boss bitch. Yeah, Queen Victoria. Queen Victoria was such a boss ass bitch. Dude, I mean, dude, she slayed, slayed. Such a queen, such a queen. Uh, put up with no shit. Um, yeah, no, she was like, yeah, yeah, she had tons of slaves, yeah. Such a boss bitch. Um, but yeah, so I guess we just fucking celebrate and just get hammered for, uh, for, her, for her birthday, you know, in, in honor, in honor, in honor of the fucking lady, the lady that wore the, the tiara over there in England. Uh, yeah, pretty weird. Canada's still just like, you know, it's like, oh, what, what, what did the British say? Oh, the Brit. Oh, actually, I guess we can do, do Canadians as well. Oh fuck, fuck, bud! What uh, what what are the uh, what are the British saying, bud? Oh, they want us to put uh oh, we gotta put use, we gotta put use in words that don't need use, like color and uh, 
and uh like fav favorite and stuff oh all right we'll do that yeah i mean if queen victoria thinks so then yeah bud i guess we'll uh we'll do color it it will it, it's it's spelled color but we're not going to say it any different uh it's, it's just color we'll just we'll just start putting use in uh use in uh whatever whatever fucking words they say i guess um what's the money oh they want to be on our money too fuck yeah who cares our money's fucking dumb anyway yeah let them have it yeah fuck yeah, throw them on there. Throw throw the mom and the fucking yeah. Get Elizabeth on there too, bud. Fuck yeah, British shit. British shit's fucking sick, bud. Yeah, I mean they can pretty much do whatever they want as long as I can fucking take my as long as I can take my Ford up to the uh, up to the oil sands there and uh and you know fucking make make a couple couple bucks and uh you know blow it in fucking loonies and toonies at the strip club. I don't really give a fuck what they do. Whatever, fucking Brits, I guess. They're pretty sick. I think they like to fucking drink and get hammered over there. So, um, but yeah, I don't know what's going on. Why we're still associated with that, but you know, whatever. Thanks. Hey, England. Thanks. Thanks guys. Thanks for all of this. But, uh, yeah, the official weekend in Canada for transferring your alcoholism from indoors to outdoors. And see the thing about drinking outdoors, and this is what we really got to talk about. The thing about drinking outdoors is it. You can get obliterated outdoors and it seems way less fucked up because people just have, like, have built-in excuses for you if it's sunny outside. If it is not sunny outside or if it was sunny and turns to shitty weather and you're hammered, immediately people turn on you. Like, for example, some guy's down at the beach or just near the beach and he's just fucking obliterated just hammered and it's sunny out people like see him and he's just you know falling all over the place and just so drunk you know you, you've seen him um he people would look at him and go uh oh look at him oh yeah i mean he's just enjoying the nice weather he's just enjoying the he's enjoying the day he's uh you know it's a nice day out he's just he's, enjo he's just having a good time if it was cloudy or rainy that immediately turns from He's just enjoying the nice weather to that man has a serious problem. It gets real depressing without the sun. If you're hammered outdoors in the sun, people are just like, yeah, I get it. You know, just enjoying the weather. It's cloudy or even a few drops of rain. People are just like, oh, no, I hope that guy gets the help he needs being drunk in public like this. Being drunk, in you can only get obliterated in public if it's sunny. It changes the entire game. I don't make the fucking rules. It's just how it is. Um. Oh my god. I can't fucking see right now. I've had five coffees and I'm having another one right now. I made like a French press with ice and um it like yeah, poured over ice and shit. And you know when you have so many coffees you like give yourself Parkinson's? Yeah, like a couple of ways to for sure ways to get Parkinson's is like become a boxer and just get punched in the head for forty years. Or just drink 10 coffees. Either way, you're going to, like, both times, you're just shaking uncontrollably. But we're powering through. I got my fucking coffee, iced coffee. Um, I can't see. Vision's very blurry. Uh, my he I, I, I can feel a headache coming on, which is good. Real good stuff. Um, I've been listening to Whitney Houston all morning. Holy, we are fired up, ready to go. Oh, man. Holy shit. Uh, what do we need to talk about today, guys? We have, um, I know what we need to talk about. Uh, this one, this is going to be a podcast for the guys, okay? And for, well, and for the ladies, come on. And uh, for all you, uh, for all you non-identifiers, I see you. I'm with you. I'm also a non-identifier. Um, but we need to speak to the guys. So the ladies, this could also be for you, but we're speaking to the guys today. And we're going to try to figure out what the fuck happened to men. Um, I've kind of taken some assessment uh, recently of where we're at with the male species. And it's nowhere good currently. It's just not. Uh, just the... The man-child culture has gotten extremely out of control, wildly out of control, and it is being fed into heavily by, uh, you know, companies and advertising, which, you know, of course, they, they like to prey on you when you're at your weakest point, and, uh, and they've got a lot of them. 
Men. 2021. Down bad. As we uh, we come back to that on the podcast. Down bad. Men. Very bad. Um, it has gotten out of control with the video games. It has gotten out of control with the uh, the sports. The, the sports fandom. Uh, it has gotten out of control with, um, you know, like, snacks. We've talked about that before. Grown men that are just like, it's just like, I just, I don't know, man. I just like, I just like Rice Krispie squares. And it's just like, okay. Um, there's guys that are just like, I, I just, oh, cookies. I just, I can't stop eating cookies. Oh, my God. Okay. Um, Jesus Christ. What a sad thing to say. Um, but what sparked all this for me was, a series of commercials that I saw while streaming some sports over the last couple of days. Uh, so while you stream sports, if you're not a sports streamer, uh, when you stream sports, uh, you know, usually the feeds are from other countries, other places. So we were get, I get a lot of America ones. And they have, uh, you know, some different commercials in America. And uh, they're running this sport, sport, I think it's Sport Clips. Yeah, Sport Clips, which is a haircut place. I, I guess for, I honestly don't know who this is for, but it's targeted at what appears to be men in and around 40 that are just the ultimate sports fans or I, I don't, I don't quite know, like, are they, they're just, they're not. They're not athletes. It's not like targeted towards athletes. It's just like targeted towards guys that that just massive sports guys that just got to watch the game, you know. Um, like they 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 got they got to get their hair cut and they got to have like fourteen screens around like surrounded them playing all the sports games in the world and have like tickers with stats so that while these guys get their hair cut, there's they just can't go to a fucking place to get it done and then walk out and either go watch the game or not afterwards if they want to. They have to be, hey, do hey, you want a haircut but also don't want to miss the second half? I got you. Do you, do you want to, uh, have you been trying to get your haircut for the past three years but there's just always a sports game on and you just can't miss one? Are you the ultimate sports fan that just can't miss a single game of every sport everywhere happening all the time? Don't worry about it. We here at Sport Clips are playing every sports game from around the world 24-7. Come in and get your hair cut. Never miss a moment of the action. What are you talking about? Who the fuck is this for? Either go get your hair cut before the game or after or during or miss the game. What is this whole thing where you, you, you can't miss any sports game? You just you're just a fan of sports, not even a fan of teams or, or like one sport or uh, you know a city. It's just I'm just a fan of sports. I need to watch the game. Like, you, like you can't, dude. These guys that like these guys that like plan their whole fucking everything around like what sports games are gonna be on. They're just like, they just like get a call from like their get a call from their buddy and they're just like hello. Oh, dude, fuck yeah. Oh, are you kidding me, man? You want me to be your best man at your wedding? Wow. Dude, that's... Oh, my God. I'm honored. I'm honored, bro. Um, absolutely, I'll do it. Absolutely. Uh, the bachelor party. Uh, yeah, of course, I'll be there, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? When is it? Um, oh, shit. Oh. Um, yeah, see, that might be a problem. Uh, See, you're trying to you're trying to get it like you're trying to do that like uh like April and stuff for the bachelor party is like that's kind of when spring training picks up for the for the Yankees, and I like to watch like the first couple. I I, I need to be home to watch the first couple spring training games. I need to see where the team's at. Um, yeah, it, it's like a, it's a non-negotiable. Like, I can't miss that. Just like, mom, 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 listen, mom. Okay. I'm coming, I'm coming to your, I'm coming to your 50th birthday party. I'm coming. I just, 
there's not going to be TVs there, and it's it's the Maple Leafs Maple Leafs playoff game. Okay. Okay, so you want me to come, and then what do I get? I got to go hang out in the back, and the guys with the kitchen, and watch on a fucking nine inch TV. Like I'm in a Mexican barber shop watching soccer games from 1850. You want me to go watch the watch the Leafs playoff game in the kitchen on a on a on a on a fucking like almost radio. You want me to listen on the radio? Okay then. Okay then. I'll come after the game. Game starts at seven, and I'll be at your birthday, like ten ten thirty. Okay, if it wraps up at 11, then I'll be there for a half hour. What's the point? You want me to come or not? Look, I feel like you're being wildly unreasonable. Um, it's like, hey, sis. Uh, yeah, again, again, you look beautiful in your wedding dress. Um, I know it's the day of your wedding. I got a jet for a couple hours. Uh, yeah, see, the Celtics are, the Celtics are in, 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 a, in a play-in game for the NBA. I know, I know, I know, I know. I'm in the wedding party. I know, I know. It's in. It, I know it's in. I know it's in two hours. Um, I'm gonna be right back. I got. I gotta go watch the. I gotta go watch the second half of this basketball game. It's a play-in game for the Celtics. Yeah, you. No, no, no. You mean a lot. Yeah, you mean a lot to me too. But you know how I've decided to live my life. It goes like Celtics. Um. You know, family second. And then, like, you know, career way down. I don't really care. I actually don't have a job. Uh, you know, I just, I, I'm just a, a Celtics guy. But these guys that, yeah, like, what, can you not miss a game? You just got to get your fucking haircut and also be bombarded by sports. Like, and also, how are you, what is the themed, themed haircut? What is a themed haircut for? Why, like, how, how identified are you as a, uh, as a sports guy that you're just like, I don't know, man, I don't really want to go get my hair cut unless it's, uh, you know, somewhere that's got uh, sports balls plastered on the, on the wall. I just don't feel comfortable. I don't feel comfortable unless there's, uh, you know, like wallpaper of like all the sports balls that looks like a, you know, like a blanket a kid would have that's like eight. Unless, you know, those blankets that had, like, uh, had, like, all the NHL teams on them. Uh, and, like, you know, that, like, that, like, bed sheets and shit that would have that. Uh, yeah, unless that's, like, kind of how the walls look. I don't, like, in the, in the, in the barbershop, I don't really want to go there. I just don't trust it. I'm a sports guy myself. And I'm not going to allow myself to get my hair cut by somebody who's also not a sports person. I don't trust it. Us sports people need to stick together. Have you ever played any sports? Uh, no. If I was playing a sport, how could I be watching the sports? Think, think with your fucking head, bud. How about that? If I'm playing sports, how could I be watching the sports that are happening? Jesus, bud, you're dumb, eh? You're dumb, eh? Um, yeah, just go get your fucking haircut. Christ, man. And like, this is targeted. Uh, we're gonna watch these. Uh, we're gonna watch these two fucking these two sport clip commercials. I mean, these, these literally sent me into a a, a blind rage. And it, it works because I am blind currently. I'm, well, vision is blurry. Vision's blurry, but we're fucking, we're pumping away anyway with the caffeine. We're just going to keep hammering it in. Um, all right, let's watch these, uh, let's watch these sports clip ads. So, this first one, this was the one I saw originally. And uh, what made me very angry, and then while I was looking it up, trying to find this one, is when I saw a second one that maybe angered me more. We're gonna we're gonna dive in and take a closer look. Uh, but yeah, it may it may have angered me more than the uh, than the first one. So uh, let's take let's take sport clips, uh, sport clips commercial, and let's take take it in of how and who this is advertised to, and the type of person, and the fact that this is, I'm, I'm guessing, a big company, so they have spent a lot of time and research and money into, they know exactly who they're targeting, and that means that a lot of these people exist. Now, feel that sadness that comes with that, and then realize that this is why the men and I are having a discussion about what we need to do to turn this around, because the ship is fucking, we're heading in the wrong direction here with guys. Okay? All right, let's watch. 
made your Sport Clips experience even better with on deck text alerts. Check in online or with our app, and you'll get a 15 minute heads up when it's time to head in, and another when you're next man up. Less wait time, more prime time. Sport Clips, it's good to be a guide. We've made your sport. Okay. <sighs> now, that tagline it's good to be a guy. Jesus Christ. Calm it down, fellas. Calm it down. It's a fucking haircut. Like, what? Uh, it's. But, okay, we're going to watch one more and just look at all the pop ups and things that are going on. And if you're just listening, it's uh, Instagram and the YouTube is where you'll find what the fuck we're looking at. Sport Clips experience even better with on deck text alerts. Check in online or with our app, and you'll get a 15 minute heads up when it's time to head in, and another when you're next man up. Less wait time, more prime time. He got a text saying, batter up, you're on deck. Hey, hey, you're next, you're next for your haircut. You're in the you're in the batting circle. Get your get your helmet on. Get up there. You're next, bud. Get you're in the you're in the batters, you're in the batters box. Go get up there working on your swing. What the fuck? Imagine being a 40-year-old man. You get a text, you'd be like, hey, batter, hey, big hitter. Oh, we got oh, we got the we got we got the power hitter coming up now. Oh shit, we got oh somebody's batting clean up. We got the cleanup batter. Uh up next, he's uh he's in the he's in the batter circle. He's in the batter's box. Uh-oh. This pitcher better hope he uh he get he gets this guy th- this next guy out because that 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 man sitting in that batter circle over there getting loose that's a bad man right there. You're in the batter circle. You're up next. You're on deck for your haircut. Jesus Christ! It's just a fifty year old man. Hey man, you're on the sidelines. You're about to tag in. You're about to you're about to sub in. Get ready. Uh, get ready. You're coming off the bench and you're going right into the game. That uh, sport clips. Get your hair cut. Watch sports. Like this is for a twelve year old. If you were twelve and sports were your life, this would still even be a little much, but it would be way more understandable. I just dropped my pack. I gotta pick it up because it's very important when you're making points to be pointing a pen, and everybody knows that. Um. But this this would even be a little much if you were 12 and just like a sports person and they were just like, sports, sports all the time. Are you the ultimate sports fan? Come get your hair cut. You will, we'll, fucking, we'll fucking text you when uh, you're on deck. We'll, uh, we'll fucking, uh, you're, we'll let you know when you're about to sub in, big shooter. Uh, like even the parents like should be like, oh, okay. Well, I mean, this is a little much. He's just getting his hair cut. Like, I don't, I don't think they need to do all this. Like, yeah, he likes sports, but I mean, you don't got to make it a fucking weird thing. Like, yeah, it's fine. Hey, just let him know. I mean, you're just cutting his hair. Fucking chill out. Um, but the fact that this is 50-year-old men, who, that means that there is a massive amount, a massive amount of these men out there, these man children, that just, Love sports so much that everything they do must be sport themed. That's insane. That's craziness. What, like, uh, it, it. Uh, could you imagine? Could you imagine your dad? You're just like an eight year old kid, and your dad's just like, like. I don't know, picks you up from school or something, and he's driving home, and his phone just goes off. And it's just like, you're on deck. You're 50, uh, 15 minutes, and uh, you'll be getting your hair cut. And your dad's just like, oh, looks like I'm in the bed. Looks like I'm in the, in the batter's box. I'm up next. Hey, kiddo, you want to go, uh, you want to go, uh, you want to come watch dad get his, uh, get his hair cut by some, uh, I think it's like all like somewhat good looking chicks too that are supposed to be cutting your fucking hair here at Sport Clip. So it's like, it's like the Hooters of, uh, like the Hooters of hair. Sport Clips is just the Hooters of hair. I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, that's a that's a good realization. Sport Clips, the Hooters of hair. There we go. That's a better tagline. Uh, hey, you wanna you wanna chick with? <laughs> hey, 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 guys, you're a guy, right? It's good to be a guy, right? Hey, hey, you wanna you wanna chick? You wanna 
You want a, you want a nice pretty lady with big tits to cut your hair? Ah, uh, yeah, you do. I know you. You want to watch the ball game and have uh and have some chick with double D's fucking give you a trim, don't you? Yeah, I can see you in your face. You're a real man. You're a man's man. You wanna you wanna you wanna fucking you wanna you wanna enjoy a burger, a steak, and uh, have some chick with no prior no prior uh, hair hair cutting experience, but she's got she's got it she's got an ass on her. You want her to give you a, give you a good, good old buzz cut, don't you? I know your type. I know your type. You're a man's man. I, I like that. I like that. I respect that. I respect a man's man myself. Get on in here. Get you a buzz cut. Don't worry. I'll light up a cigar for you. Like, like what? <laughs> the fucking hooters of hair. These like fucking dude. What are who are these men? Who are these people? Forty year old man. I like to go to sport. I like to go to sport clips. <laughs> I like to go to sport clips for the uh, for the uh, the top notch uh, c- customer customer uh, care. Uh, the fine ladies there. They give me. Uh, I-, I saw a bunch of the commercials. It was like the signature hot towel and like head massage. So like, yeah, I like when uh, I like. Uh, I see. I am. <laughs> I am a extremely out of shape fifty year old gentleman that. Uh, that has uh, on on multiple occasions almost eaten myself to death uh, with with Kentucky Fried Chicken, and I have I mean my fat has fat I mean I, Jesus Christ I got I got rolls I got I got a fucking bakery full of rolls going on uh, all over my body the back of my neck the back of my neck looks like a fucking croissant. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he he walks in there and makes some fucking lady that's like 24 trying to get into you know i don't know hair is it cosmetics does that count no i don't think so uh just haircutting school or whatever just out of haircutting school she's got to get a job here makes her fucking rub his head put a hot towel on him oh oh my god ladies i'm so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry about this this is fucking horrendous now we're gonna take a look at this second commercial, and this one is so much worse. I've just decided it's so much worse, and I hate it. And it's I I'm just thinking about it before I even play it, and it's annoying me so much. And all right, let's listen. Let's just listen. Every day is a sport. Getting that ring? No, no, it's not. Every day is a sport. Fourth, getting that raise, asking her out, being yourself, that's a sport, and it's getting that raise, asking her out, being yourself, that's a sport. Hey, sport clips, no it's not, it's just not, you know what are sports? Sports. Getting a raise doesn't have to, anything to do with uh, with uh, the score of a game, unless the game was uh, unless getting a raise was dependent on uh, on uh, you know the uh, Yankees and the Cubs hitting the over. It's like if they hit the over, then I'm getting a raise. I mean that's that's called gambling. That's not sports either. That's gambling. What are you talking about? Hey, asking that girl out that's a sport. You know when you and your buddy uh, get a. a get together and you're just like all right you know uh hey how can we make harassing chicks uh into a competition i know let's uh let's 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 keep let's keep score and let's bounce around let's bounce around town and see who can get the see who can get the most numbers uh and or uh you know uh harassment harassment charges either way it's a score for either one if you get their number or you harass them enough for them to file uh File a report. Both of them count as points. Asking that girl out. And then the last one. Oh, the worst one. Be yourself. That's a sport. Holy shit. Oh, my God. Wow. That's crazy. Just being yourself. Hey, I noticed you were... uh, Sir... I noticed you over here in this coffee shop. I saw you, yeah. I saw you, I saw you just 
reach your hand right down into your pants and just scratch the shit out of your balls and then bring them up and just give them a good old sniff. And I know for a fact that uh, that was very you, that you were just being yourself there. I, I got a question. for Are you an athlete? Are you an athlete, sir? And don't you don't even have to answer that. I'm fucking with you. I know you're an athlete. You are, I mean, that the way you were just yourself right there, where you acted like you were just at home, fucking scratching the shit out of your balls and taking a big whiff of it. That was totally you. I could tell that was that was you to your core. And 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 for you to just put that on display and not give a single fuck about anybody else in this in this coffee shop, that was the that that was the greatest display of athleticism I've seen. You're an athlete, sir. You're one of the best athletes I've seen. I'm Agent Aiden Sousa. Let's let's have a chat. You got a second to chat? I like I like I like to, I like to talk. I like to chop it up with some. When I see when I see a, sp- a, a a sportsman out here, being yourself, being yourself, a sport. Oh my God! Okay, let's start it from the beginning. Every day is a sport. Getting that raise, asking her out, being yourself. That's a sport. And at Sport Clips, our MVP experience is going to help you win it. Maybe a massaging shampoo, a hot steam towel, and an awesome cut doesn't sound like much, but it might be all the edge you need. Sport Clips, it's good to be a guy. Holy shit. Holy shit. Every day is a sport. Being yourself. Hey, you know how, you know how, you know how, like, at your core, you're just a lazy piece of shit, and, like, you just want to sit down and eat chips? That's okay. You're being yourself. You're an athlete, sir. Did you know that just being your fucking garbage self is, is a sport? Here, everybody was telling you that, you know, maybe you shouldn't eat an entire uh, tray of Oreos every night because it's just plain disgusting. But if that's who you are, then by God, sir, you're an athlete. You hear me? Now get on down to Sport Clips and <laughs> let Teresa with the big tits give you a fucking give you a little trim. How does that sound? We'll send you a text when you're when you're when you're on deck. How about that? Yeah, we'll, we'll see you down there. Oh my God, man, this is depressing. Just for the love of God, man, go get your hair cut. Go get your hair cut, and then if you want to come home and watch the game after, that's fine. Just go to a place that cuts hair, a barber, a salon. I've been to salons. They're nice. Go to a salon if you have to, guys. Uh, Just, Jesus, sport clips. For If you have children, if you have especially a son, do not. Ever, ever let him see you go into sport clips. That's it. That kid will never respect you ever again. If he's if he's any if if he's any respectable kid. He would see his dad going into sport clips and just be like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, my dad is a fucking loser. Oh my god. Oh yeah, dad, you want to go catch the game? Yeah? You wanna go catch the game while uh while you get while you get your hair trimmed? What do you want to want to catch the? Uh, it's like I gotta get the highlights. I gotta get the highlights in. I mean, how do I get my hair cut? And I watch all in, all the top NFL top fifty at the same time. You tell me another place I could do that. Jesus Christ. Um. So that's a bad one, guys. Is uh sport clips? That's not. I uh, please please. I hope for the love of God you're not one of those people. Uh. That actually like that ad is targeted for. Um. Also, yeah, like the video games, the video games are getting out of control. It's, I understand there's some people that are making money at it now. So that has somehow in some people's minds made it okay that they're, you know, in their thirties and they're, uh, you know, wearing headsets with like the mic down and they're like, it's, it's 1am and they're just a screen in their face and they're like hunched over and they're just like. He's like, he's at, yeah, he's at the back. He's at the back. Okay, okay, one down. Okay, okay, get back, get back, get back, get back. Grenade, grenade. Um, 
Oh, okay, to the left. Okay, he's just off to the left. Yeah, one, 140, 140 northwest. Sir? You have two children. What are you doing? Can I, 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 got a que- I got a question for you. Hey, hey, guy that's played five hours of Call of Duty uh, and, and you're 36 with, uh, with, with three kids. I got a question for you. What are, what are you doing? Yeah, no, no, no. I'm genuinely asking. What, what, what are you doing? Why are you playing? Why are you playing five hours of Call of Duty? Yeah, you, yeah, you have three kids. Um. Uh, yeah. Have you have you considered raising them? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah no, yeah, no. I understand. Yeah, Call of Duty, Call of Duty's fun. Yeah, it's a fun, fun game. Yeah, it's a fun game for uh, yeah, for for teenagers and stuff. Yeah. Um, like I said, so you're 36. Uh. What? Are, what? Uh. What are, what are you doing? You haven't given me a good enough answer. You're just talking about how, Call of Duty. Hey, well, uh, um, um, Nick Merckx, Nick Merckx makes uh, $40 billion a year playing this game. Hey, okay, oh, okay. All right, then you explain, you explain to your, to your, to your three-year-old how, wh- why he's not going to eat for the next four years because dad's, uh, dad's trying to build a, uh, a YouTube career, uh, on on Call of Duty Warzone. Dad's trying to be a Dad's trying to be a Twitch partner. Dad's a, uh, Dad's gonna get in with uh, with Facebook Gaming. He's gonna get a deal. I I promise. If you just let me not be in your life for the next four to five years, I promise. I promise, Jeffrey. I promise. I'm gonna make it for us. I'm gonna be a Call of Duty professional. I'm going to do it for you, and I'm going to do it for your sister. We're going to have a big old house. As long as you don't mind me not speaking to you, your sister, or your mother for the next four to five years while I play Call of Duty, okay? Dad's playing Call of Duty. Don't come in this fucking room now. You hear? Um, dude, cut it. calm down with the video games. Just hours and hours. And these guys that... Ah. Uh, the ladies, I mean, you're part you're partly responsible because you just fucking sit around and chill while these guys play video games, and then the girls are like just like huffing and puffing because they are they wanted to, like they they don't know how they ended up in this relationship with this fucking man boy, and they don't want to you know they don't want to break up with them because they love him or whatever or they just pretty much as they just don't want to be single again and have to go through the process of being alone. So they'd rather just huff and puff on the couch while their boyfriend fucking is in the other room playing Call of Duty or uh, or uh, Apex Legends, spouting off to his buddies. And then after uh, after you're all upset because he spent four hours more on the game than he said he would, uh, he's gonna come and just be like, "Babe, what's wrong? I told you I was gonna be playing with the guys tonight. I know, I know. I said I'd be off at eleven, but like, but fuck, we." Like the last game, we we came in third and we couldn't leave it at that. I mean, you gotta understand that. And we had a couple bad runs, and those games don't even count if you die like off the bat. So we had to fucking keep going. And then, and then I unlocked this new attachment for this gun I've been using, and I've been really fucking working to get this new attachment. So I I mean I had to play a couple more games with that. I had to fucking I had, once I got that on, I was like I gotta fucking I gotta try this out. So then next thing I know, it's uh yeah it, it was three thirty a.m. Yeah. And then yeah, you were getting up for work, and uh, and yeah, you were you didn't seem too happy with me, uh, because you were getting up you were getting up for work to uh, you know go make money to support us, and uh, I was just finishing up a nine hour Call of Duty session. I don't know why you were really that upset though. Um, it's just I was trying to, I was trying to, I'm working on. I see. See the thing is, babe, babe, babe. Before you go to work, see the thing is, I'm, I'm getting pretty good. I'm getting pretty good, honestly, at this whole Call of Duty thing. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get a deal with Twitch or, or like Facebook Gaming or something real soon, and then, and then, babe, babe, dude. I mean, sorry, sorry, I didn't mean to call you dude, babe. Um, babe, and then, but yeah, then the girl like. The girl's just sitting, like, just sitting around waiting for him to get off his fucking video games. It's just like, what in the fucking mom 
boy relationship is going on here that what kind of what kind of dynamic is this in the house in this relationship in this household where it's just like all my boyfriend does is play video games it's like you don't have a boyfriend you have a like stepson that's the equivalent of what that is it's like all this fucking guy does is play video games i don't know and then the guys are just like dude i've i had girlfriends for like way too long years wise and if i was if i was ever hanging out with them or they were with me dude i i mean are you do you guys just straight up not like your girlfriends what do you just not like them and then but you're just like because like they're at your house or you're hanging out with them or not hanging out with them but they're there and you're just like yeah you real cool of you to be here. Uh, I'm going to go play video games and you can do whatever the fuck it is you do. You know, go for it. Hey, go for it. Don't bother me either. Like what is happening? Hang out, spend time with your girlfriend. And if not, then she can leave. Or. Yeah, you just plan another time to play video games. That's not when she's just hanging out there. And then she's just all upset because she wants to spend time with you and you're fucking, you know, talking about your kill streak. And then she's over there like, yeah. She's like huffing and puffing about, she's just like, what the, how the fuck did I get myself into this fucking relationship? And then you get off and you're just like, babe, hey, why are you upset? What's, uh, what's wrong? And she's just like, well, you want to know what's wrong? Uh, I want to know why the fuck um, my boyfriend is a 12 year old and, uh, I don't have the strength to leave because I don't want to be lonely. So, you know what? I'm just going to sit here and resent this entire situation and you, uh, for the rest of my life. Um, if that's cool with you and then you can be like, I don't know. She's just in a bad mood all the time. It's like, well, why do you think that is, huh? You've been playing four hours of call of duty a day for the last four years. You're a boy. You're a man boy. What is happening to guys? The video gamers. And then these guys are also that are like way too into the Avengers. Way too into uh, superheroes. Also, what's going on there? What? You just really love Batman? What? Can you guys stop taking things that are made for children and turning them into adults? This is like the male version of like I've a few people like these old ladies that are just way too into Disney. It's like, do you have severe schizophrenia? What you're, what what is the do you identify with the Batman? In what in what way? Do you identify with the Batman? You have you have the floor. I I please, you have the floor. Explain to me. What is it about the Batman that reminds you of yourself? Go ahead. I mean I'm just going to sit back. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Oh, you like you like Iron Man? You like Iron Man? Hmm. Um, yeah, these guys that are just like, I've watched the Avengers movie series 18 times through, and it is the greatest movie series of all. It's a just nonstop action packed explosions. And I mean, the storylines, it's just like, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Stop turning things that are made for children into your personalities and your entire existence. Okay. The superheroes were made for children's entertainment and for them to, you know, like learn values and stuff and watch cartoons. And then like Halloween, adults have just hijacked it and there's like, now we did, well, this is our thing again. Fuck the kids. We're taking superheroes. We're taking Halloween. We're taking fucking everything. Halloween. Halloween's not even about the kids anymore. It's about fucking, uh, um, you know, like there'd be like a group of girls that are like 29 and uh, they're they're all still they're all fucking coke addicts, and they're you know they should be 
should be trying to, you know, figure out what they're going to do with their life. But instead, they're in a group chat talking about what costumes they're going to go to the bar as uh, this Halloween, like a, a month ahead. It's like Halloween's like, I love Halloween. Halloween's like my favorite holiday. Um, hey, hey, uh, hey, Sarah. Sarah, Sarah, what are you going as this year? You can't be a cat again, you fucking slut. Oh, my God. You can't be a cat for, like, the 19th year in a row. God, I mean, I know you're such a good slutty cat, but you can't. Let's try and do something crazy this year. Um, Okay, 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 okay. Um, So, here's the thing. Um, I'm going to go as... Uh, I want to do something like... I want to do something, like, smart. I'm going to go with Ruth Bader Ginsburg or whatever her name is. I don't know her name. I don't really know. But people would be like, wow, she's like, must be like really smart or something. That's what they'll say when they see me. Cause they're just like, yeah, she was like a smart woman or something. I think. Um, but then there's groups of guys that are just like, yeah, we got to hit the bars on Halloween, man. Got to hit the bars on Halloween, bro. Dude, I'm going to dress up like Popeye. Uh, which is pretty much just an excuse for me to wear, like, a fucking t-shirt that's, like, way too small and shit. And, like, dude, that's going to be sick. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, like, you got, you got Greg from, uh, from the marketing department at, uh, at Microsoft. He's 33. And he's just, like, talking, he's just like, hey, you going to the, you going to the bars tonight for Halloween? Yeah, I'm going as Yoda. No, I'm not going to the bar, man. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, I'm not painting myself green like, uh, yeah, like like, like Yoda. Is that, is that your favorite character? Yeah, okay. Oh, good. Um, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not going to the bar. No, 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 no. I see the thing is, um, yeah, I, my brain's working. So I'm not. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm. I'm going to leave Halloween for the children, which who it was intended for. And yeah, if they come by my apartment tonight, I'm going to hand out candy to them and let them enjoy the day that is for them. I'm not going to go uh, use it as an excuse to get hammered in a Star Wars costume and piss myself at the bar. Nah, just, you know. I'm probably going to, you know, stay home, do some, do, do, do something productive and then get up in the morning and, you know, continue to live my life, not take three days off uh, and be hung over because uh, it's Halloween. I just love Halloween, dude. Adults that fucking, oh my God. Adults that are just, I just love Halloween. Halloween's my favorite. Uh, I just love Halloween. Spooky shit. It's so crazy. I just, oh, I just, uh, I just watch so many scary movies. Just. Leave it for the children. Leave Halloween for the children. It's it's not for you. It's not for you, okay? Leave it for the children. It's over. All right? Jesus. Um, okay, so we've attacked video game guys. We've attacked uh, whoever the men are that these sport clip uh, ads are targeting. These 40, these 30s, 40s, 50s sports fanatics sports fanatics um who else we attacked oh we just attacked uh attacked the adults i think this one kind of goes across the board men and women the adults that uh that can't let go of halloween um oh another one my buddy said the other day uh he's just like oh it's chocolate chip cookies are my nemesis man Oh boy, how far we have fallen. The male species. The male species. We used to hunt massive animals, beasts, killers with spears, and, you know, have to fight off like bears and shit. Crazy animals to protect our families and our species. And now, we are at a point where chocolate chipped baked goods are your biggest enemy. Could there be a softer thing to say? Just, oh, 
bro. Angel food cake is my arch nemesis, man. It's trying to take me out. It's, dude, it's killing me. Angel food cake is so damn good that I don't think I can control myself. I just have no control. Somebody breaks out. Somebody has ice cream. I just can't control myself. Ice cream is just so damn good. I'll kill myself. I'll, I'll, I'll eat it till I fucking literally die. Till I die on the spot. I'll sit in a bathtub of ice cream and eat it till it's all gone. It's going to be fucking nasty. My body, like, skin all over it and shit. I'll fucking eat it right up. Jesus. Um, but, yeah. How, uh, what a, what a fall over the last 200 years of guys hunting and getting their food to, uh, you know, a, uh, fresh, fresh box of, uh, Chips Ahoy taking, taking you out. Ah, man, I just can't handle it. Chips Ahoy is just so goddamn good, man. I just, ah, fuck. We need to find, the moral is, we need to find a middle ground. See, during the mid-1900s, men got a little out of control, okay? And before that, they were a little out of control as well with the manly shit. You know, the fucking come home and, like, you could just drink at work, I guess. You come home with, like, a little buzz on and, you know, fucking... You, you hear the fire alarm going off and like your wife forgot to fucking take the casserole out of the oven because she's trying to raise your 15 kids. Make sure to, like, you know, try to limit the amount of deaths. You know, you're going to lose a couple of them, but we'll try to limit it. Um, Yeah, she's trying to raise your 15 kids, cook dinner, keep the house clean, all that. And you come home after, uh, you know, hard day of fucking whatever the fuck you're doing down at the uh, down at the canned soup factory. And you're just drunk, and you just come home, and you're just like, did you burn dinner? And you just shove her. Just shove her into the fucking stove, burn her hand. And then uh, you'd be like, I'll be outside smoking, uh, smoking cigarettes. Actually, no, I'm going to do it right here in the, in the kitchen because it's the 50s. Um, and you cook a fucking proper dinner and don't burn the shit. And then the kids are like, just be like, hey, dad, just be like, hey, why is, the, why is the kid talking to me? Are you not raising these kids properly? He did he just address me, the dad? He's going to address me like that? First of all, my name is Ron. You address me as my name, kid. I'll let you know when you can call me dad. Um, but yeah, like the overly manly shit of like, uh, that's not even manly, of just like the overly aggro man shit of like, you know, beating your wife and growing mustaches and fucking, you know, not raising your kids to this other side that we've gone to where it's like these man children that are like in their thirties and forties that are playing video games and watching the Avengers all the time. And like, we got to We got to come to a middle ground here really badly. It, uh, it's, uh, it's come to the point where it's, it's, we can't do it anymore, guys. We need, we need to find a middle ground, uh, where, you know, you can be, you know, masculine and, uh, but also be an adult, be a masculine adult. Uh, do some man shit, you know, get decent with nature, either hiking or like, you know, fishing or hunting or something. Get decent at being in nature. Uh, learn how to have relationships with other, with other guys, you know, like your dad or your son have proper relate. There you go. That's a good one. And you don't do that by having them watch you go to sport clips or uh, talk to them about, uh, you know, um, how uh, the Avengers series saved your life. It's like I was in a dark place, son, until Iron Man 3 came out. And, <sighs> oh, boy, oh, boy. That, that saved my life. And then I met your mother right after that, and I, I just knew. Um, yeah. Oh, my God. Killing me. It's fucking killing me. Um, all right. Well, you know, we just attacked all men and, uh, you know, well, just where we're at, like, this is truly just where we're at. And, uh, you know, I think maybe that's also part of the reason why Joe Rogan is such a big fucking influence now on guys. Cause he's just like, Hey, like, yo, fucking shoot bows, exercise, um, read, try to expand your mind. Try not to be such a fucking useless twat is kind of Joe Rogan's like main thing is try to try to, you know, do something be like have 
something to fucking do and be a, like a per like of purpose. Just sit around fucking playing Call of Duty, man. Fucking watching the Avengers for the nineteenth time. We gotta we. We as a as a, as a male species, we gotta fucking we gotta tighten this shit up. We gotta write this this ship into the proper direction, of you know we gotta we gotta we gotta be able to you know just eat good foods and uh and you know stop being like oh, I just can't I'm just a snacker, I just I I need I need to I don't know just I can't stop eating fruit roll ups. It's like dude, okay okay, yes you can number one, um. I don't know what you're fucking talking about, but yes, you can. And, uh, um, yeah, so we gotta, we gotta stop with that. And, um, yeah, you know, I don't know, exercise, try and exercise, pick up a hobby that, or a, an extracurricular thing that is good for you. Learn something new. That's not a complete waste of time. Uh, you know, take up gardening. Take up, uh, take up exercise, take up, uh, exercise isn't even really something you could take up actually. Um, but just do it. Uh, yeah. Take up gardening, take up, uh, learn a new skill, learn photography, learn, uh, go fucking bird watching for the, for God's sakes, get closer to nature. There you go. Um, but yeah, put the video games down, put them down. I understand. Uh, hang out with your lady cause she's, she's not happy. And, you know, have a real relationship or don't. Or tell her to kick rocks and play video games. But you got to decide. You can't do this half and half shit. Because she's resenting the fact that she's in this situation that she's dating a a fucking four-year-old, a 14-year-old. And you're resenting the fact that she's huffing and puffing back there. Well, you know, you're trying to, you're not trying to catch a dub. Catch a dub with the boys. You know what what I'm saying? Um, Christ. Christ, call, Christ Almighty. Um, all right, fellas. Well, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna, from here on out, we're gonna fucking, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna tighten this shit up. Uh, don't, you don't need to, uh, you don't need to see every sports game. It's okay. Go get your hair cut, watch the sports game after, or catch the highlights. It's okay. You don't need to fucking see every goddamn sport that's happening all the time and be on your fantasy football or your fantasy sports. It's like, yeah, my fantasy team, my fantasy team. It's like, hey, uh, you should try having a relationship with your son and put down your uh, fantasy hockey. Have you tried that? Yeah, you should maybe do that. That one's that one's a little bit better, a little bit more important than uh, you know winning your league, so you can uh, you can fucking brag to the guys at work. You should try building a building a proper relationship with your son. That's a uh, it's a much better much better move. Um, leave the. Uh, Leave the superheroes to the kids. Leave Halloween to the kids. And let's all begin to move in a direction that is, uh, you know, right in between. That's like I said, we want to we want to get right in, in that in that sweet spot in the middle between, you know, the 1950s uh, over aggro guy. You know, those guys like actually, well, this is like even 1920s. But, you know, those guys used to have like big fucking upper bodies. Like with this, like their chest out, they're like the nineteen, like whatever, twenty strong man shit. Those guys with like the fucking, the f- the fucking mustaches and shit. Those guys, we want to be somewhere in between that, where that was a little fucking, you know, you know that guy struck a couple of females. Um, we want to be in between that and, uh, you know, the guys that are, uh, yeah, that are that are playing four hours of Call of Duty, and uh, when they're done with that, they're, uh, they're they're watching. Um, they're watching Spider-Man. They're watching Batman again. We got to settle in somewhere right in between that middle. And we all, we got to start being adults. We got to, like, I mean, we got to grow up. Okay. Not everything can be fucking nostalgia and like just living in the past. All right. We got to fucking narrow in on the future. We got to fucking do something here. You got to do something. Stop just doing all the shit that you liked in the past. Okay. It's over. Let's find something else. Move on. I know it's uncomfortable, but we got to do it. All right, guys, that is that is a podcast. Uh, thank you so much. Today was just a fucking rant about where we're at with guys. I mean, Jesus Christ. 
no good. Um, also, I'll throw this in as an aside. Uh, has anybody else, uh, I mean, fucking, this is probably just me, just completely forgotten how to talk to the fucking opposite sex. I mean, holy hell. We were at the beach and, uh, you know, whatever, just talking to a couple girls. And then, uh, but even that, like before that, just like messaging with girls and stuff. It's like, have you, has anybody else fucking, you, you have to look up, you're like looking shit up before you send every message. You're like, is that even a word? Is that how you use that word? It's like, I don't know. Fucking, I, you just forget how to, like, you're talking to a, a, a girl. And you're just like, I don't even know how to speak the English language. I don't know how to write the English language anymore, to be honest with you. I have no fucking idea. I need to look up every word to make sure that this is actually real. I have no fucking idea. Um, it's, it's, it's crazy. But yeah, like, we were out at the beach and, like, just talking to fucking, like, when's the hell is the last time we were out talking to, uh, talking to girls out in public? It's like, uh, it's uh, been a while. And, um. You know, it's a lot different when you're not fucking drinking. When you're not hammered and you're just like, ah, whatever the fuck flies out of my mouth, fuck it. But, um, yeah, mostly the texting thing. I was just like, I was just thinking, I was like, why the fuck do I get, why do, like, why do you forget the, why do you forget the language you speak when you're messaging with somebody? You're just like, oh shit, that's not how you use that word. That's, that's not how you spell that. It's like, ah, like, just completely forgotten how to, how to fucking speak. That's a, look at that. That's a fucking, that's a, it's a weak guy move right there too. And uh all right, fuck this. I'm gonna go I'm I'm out of here. I'm gonna go drink more fucking coffee and li listen to Whitney Houston, watch the fucking Avengers and eat chocolate chip cookies. Fucking play Call of Duty while all at the same time. Uh download the podcast if you I mean if you got made it this far, I hope you did. If not, download it. Give me that uh give me that little download number, that'll help a lot. Subscribe to the podcast on your podcast app. Uh Follow and follow on Instagram, smart at smart ass pod. There, all the clips and stuff are up there. People, uh, people are people seem to be enjoying that, which is nice. I uh, get some nice messages about that. Uh, so yeah, follow that. Fucking send those to your friends. Send them to your grandma. Your grandma's grandmas love me. Uh, send them to your aunts. Send them to your fucking. Uh, send them to your uh, cousins. Um, send them to your friends. Uh, I'm just kidding. You guys don't have any friends. Um, and yeah, subscribe to the YouTube if you want. But uh. Thank you all for listening, uh, and um, ladies, if you're with your man-child boyfriend, uh, I'm so sorry, and I hope it gets better.